So for the Lebanese seven spice quinoa and with sea trout, what I have is 160 grams of sea trout, salmon will work fine, or any oily fish, uh, such as mackerel or even herrings. Um, I have one red bell pepper, which is chopped roughly, a medium sized courgette, which is just, again, roughly chopped into a large dice. I have 50 grams of dates with the stones removed and roughly chopped up. About a half a teaspoon of Lebanese seven spice. Use a little less, use it quite sparingly, this one, because it's quite a, a strong flavor, but it really works well with the dates and it's, it's a very, very interesting uh, flavor. You'll get this in um, any ethnic food stores. It's, it's quite a commonly used spice. What I've done with the quin quinoa, quinoa is I've pre-cooked this. Now the way I cook the quinoa is I use one part quinoa and one and three quarter parts water. So if you get a wee cup, um, fill the cup with the quinoa and then one and three quarter cups of water. Um, that's, that's the ratio. You don't necessarily have to cook that much. But um, with this recipe, I'm using 120 grams of cooked quick quinoa. When you're cooking it, just very, very simply add your water and quinoa together, bring to a simmering boil, let it cook for about five, 10 minutes, just keeping an eye on it as it cooks, place a lid on it, turn off the heat, and then let it absorb any remaining water. And it should remain fairly fluffy. It's just not very, very little to go wrong. Otherwise, all the packets have instructions how to cook it as well. I have a little bit of fresh oregano here. Now, any herb will really do for the garden, even be it parsley, but basil, majoran, oregano, but just, um, just a roughly chopped up piece of fresh herb. And then I have an apple, which is roughly diced. Um, I also have just a little drop of water for the cookery process, some good olive oil, a little bit of salt, and freshly ground black pepper. Now, to cook this dish, again, using the one pan, keeping it all nice and simple, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil into the pan. Just a drop, about a tablespoonful. Then I'm going to add in my peppers. And the courgettes. Into that, just a pinch of salt. And then just going to let those simmer for a couple of minutes. A good tip to speed up the cookery and just get everything moving along nicely is to use about a tablespoon of water into the pan. And if the pan goes dry in any way as well, that gets a little bit of steam into the pan and speeds everything up. And then put, just put a lid on it and just leave the pan there for a few minutes then to just heat up nicely. Having just allowed this, the peppers and the courgette cook with a little drop of olive oil in the pan. Now I have stirred this and just checked it occasionally as it's cooking. It's been cooking about five minutes. And when they're just very lightly cooked. I'm now going to add the apple and the dates. And just allow them to cook for a few more minutes on a nice high heat for about another 15, 15, 15 30 seconds. Next, as the, all the ingredients, the dates, the courgettes, the peppers, and the apple is just rendered just a little bit. I'm going to now add the Lebanese seven spice. Just a half a teaspoon is more than enough because you don't want to dominate with any one flavor. Now you might find your pan gets a little bit dry at this point. It's no problem at all. 
just add a little drop of water. The mistake some people make is they see a pan going dry and they start to oil, oil which is a really bad idea. Um, the trick is a little drop of water. When this gets around this point, I'm going to now add, I'm going to make a little space among the vegetables and add my seed pearls. I just very, very lightly seasoned the fish itself with a piece of salt. Don't forget there is seasoning in the dish itself. And just allow that to cook for a minute. And again, if your pan is going a little bit dry, don't panic, just add a little bit of water and that will help everything just cook away and just render down for one of the better description. And then when the fish is very, very lightly seared on one side, and it's going to turn it over, it's still quite raw. And then, at this point, add your quinoa. I'll just allow that to mix, more so with the vegetables, but you don't have to be too picky, but this is only cooking at home. And let the fish more rest towards the bottom of the pan if you can. I'm just going to add a little bit more water again because if the pan seems to be a little bit dry and then I'm going to season very very lightly again with a little bit of salt and black pepper Cover over and then reduce the heat and allow the dish to cook for about three to five minutes there thereabouts. You can check it at any time if you're not too sure. The big risk here is if the pan goes a little bit dry and if you find it's going a bit dry, just add a little bit of water. After about three minutes cooking, I'm going to fully turn off the heat on the pan. So it's off completely, but don't take the lid off it. Just allow everything just infuse and cook together and allow the pan to just stand for around five to seven minutes. Nothing to go wrong with this. Just walk away from it. But if you take the lid off to have a look at it, once you turn off the heat, you're gonna lose the heat. So don't do that. Just re resist the temptation to look at it. Allow it all to stand for about five minutes. I've waited now about five minutes. I'm just going to remove the lid for the moment of truth and see how we get on. There we are, the fish is nicely cooked. The vegetables all finished, everything is infused, all the flavors are under one pan. And then to just to finish, I'm just going to sprinkle with a little bit of that fresh olive oil or fresh olive oil, no, the fresh oregano or whatever herb, a bit of fennel might be nice. And you can just put a little dash of good olive oil there to finish this. You could use a little bit of lemon juice, I'm not going to this time because for me, I like the Lebanese spice on its own. And I just have a few little sprigs of the oregano on that as well. And that's it. The sea trout with Lebanese, seven spice quinoa, uh, quinoa. A very, very simple one pan dish, very balanced, very high in protein, absolutely delicious.